Is this the new king of ridgelines? Welcome back everyone to another episode on Adaptable Survival. So with that little intro, what we're gonna be talking about is a ridge line. Now, there's tons of variations of ridge lines out there. You know, you got the rapid ridge line, uh, ridge lines with toggles, so forth and so on. So I was searching around on the internet uh, a while back and I came across a video uh, using a carabiner and this was an application of cinching down an item into a truck. So thinking of what we can carry out into the wilderness with us, a carabiner can come in extremely handy whether that is lifting something off the ground uh, connecting something to our pack if we may be climbing on that adventure outdoors lots and lots of applications so what we're gonna dive into today is setting up this ridge line utilizing a carabiner as part of that ridge line so firstly what we're gonna need is we're gonna need ourselves at least one toggle now this can be a tent stake uh, of an extra one that we carry with us or simple enough if we're out in the woods you know it's so hard to find a toggle out here i don't know where i would ever find one but i did manage to find one here it's simple enough this doesn't have to be anything fancy since this is just being used as part of our marlin spike so firstly since on this ridge line i'll come up here and show you i do have let me get that to clear up in here a bowl line tied into the end of this line now, I don't want to run this with the carabiner still attached, so I can simply remove that, keep that aside until I need it later. Now, I can take my ridge line that is wrapped up here and take out what I'm going to need to attach this. Just since this isn't going to be a load bearing ridge line just to hold my tarp, I'm not too concerned with this dead cedar here as my base. So I just wrap that around and now got the bowline here. We're just putting through a little loop, grab our toggle that we had to search all around the woods to find. Put that down in there, cinch it down. And now let's go attach the other. So I ran the ridge line up and around this other tree now here is where that carabiner is going to come into play i'm just going to come out you know a couple feet from the tree over here let up some slack and then i'm just going to make two loops in this line put those together creating a lark's head so i got that slack I came out a little ways. Just one loop. Make another loop so that they are, let me get this around here, facing in the same direction. Oh, come on. So when I take both of these, almost like I have bunny ears, now actually I'm going to loose a small shorten these up and then I'm just taking these folding them over and now I have a lot so here head. is a close-up of what we did I just took that lark's head let me loosen this up here so I took that carabiner that has that opening gate on there and I just slid my lark's head right into there pulling that tight is going to lock it in for what we're going to do next so with that carabiner locked in here you know we see the ridge lines nice and tight i have the carabiner you know roughly about maybe two feet foot and a half two feet away from the tree so i'm going to proceed like i was going to string up any other ridge line let this feed out here and i'm going to bring this around and now, taking advantage of that gate, I can slide 
the other end of my ridge line in here. So now I take that ridge line and I can proceed to tighten this. Now, this doesn't have to be guitar string tight, but we want to create enough tension because this ridge line is going to stretch, especially depending on the cordage you're using. So now that I have tension on here, what I'm actually going to do is pinch where I have that line in on the opposite side of where the lark's head is. I'm just going to feed some of this cordage through that opening gate and loop it over. And now I can lock it in place there if it wants to agree with me here. Let me get another round tightened in here. But now with those two extra loops in there, one's gonna kind of push up on me there. But as I'm tightening that down, it locks into place. And now I can leave it stand still. My ridge line's nice and tight for me to connect any tarp off of this. So let's take a look at this in real time. So now I'm just pulling tension enough to hold this carabiner in line with the ridge line, pinch it off. Well, I push another line up through and push one other through there. And now all I'm doing from here is pulling this till tension starts building up and this all just locks in on itself. Now I can simply let this go and this can be good to go. I do have this extra tail of my ridge line, which I can do feed through a half hitch and pinch that off, which will give me an additional security in case this comes loose on me, that it won't come all the way and done. But I can simply feed the rest of my ridge line in here if I want to. Taking this down is simple enough since I have essentially a quick release there. And now what I'm gonna do to release this here is I'm going to start working this cordage onto the opposite side and just pulling this out and it almost pops and then feed this through one more time. And you can see right in here, let me zoom into that. Right in here is where that tension is, where it's holding this whole ridge line in place. Now all I'm doing is pulling this cordage out until that releases. And that kind of got out of film frame there, but so simple enough to put up takedown. So the advantages to this ridge line is it's extremely simple to set up once you learn the process. Marlin spike on one end, Lark's head to attach that carabiner, run it around, and then just put those three wraps around the carabiner, pull it tight until it locks down on itself. And now I've been trying to think back to the video that I seen this used, and I can't find the exact video, but the closest I can find is a trucker's hitch with a carabiner is essentially what we're creating here. Now, I don't have anything on this ridge line right now. Uh, I don't have any prostate loops, anything like that. I've done that in other videos, how I like to set up my prostate loops on my ridge line, make them a little bit smaller, so that tarp sits a little bit more snug. We can we could uh, go back into that if y'all want. Let me know in the comment section down below. But for me, as an instructor, as an outdoor educator, as someone trying to get more people outside, where a ridge line like this comes in handy is for people without a lot of strength, either in their hands or just in general. You think to the rapid ridge line where you're pinching off and doing all these knots, and that works all great and grand, but if you can simply pinch this here long enough to make three wraps around, tighten it down, most people can do that. Now, with this series, this is kind of an opening into more ridgeline uh, exploration. Uh, like the cordage I'm using in this is a three millimeter uh, paracord, so it doesn't have any inner strands. Uh, for me personally, I prefer to use this for my ridgeline since it's a little bit more compact. I don't have to worry about as much stretching because there's not a uh, out, outer sheath that can stretch and also the separate inner strands. This is all one bit of cordage. 
Some may say, oh, but the inner strands of 550 cord you can use for this, that, and other, making it multifunctional. Yeah, great and grand, but I've never had to resort to that. I've never torn anything bad enough to where I sat there and sewed it up. Usually, if I have duct tape, I'm ducking it and taking off. So let me know in the comment section down below other ways you have set up your ridge line, what kind of ads and additions you like to make to it to kind of customize it for your own approach. Like I said, this is just one of many ways of doing a ridge line. Kind of baited you in with saying, is this the king of ridge line? For me, I like it because it's nice and simple. I'm not spending a whole lot of time. I can set this all up in a minute or two. So let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. That gets more eyes on what we're doing here, the community that we're building, help bring those people in so we can grow our knowledge base and learn together and grow together. As always, this has been Paul with Adaptable Survival. Adapt your mind, your body, and your gear.